In this video, we're going to talk about deriving an expression for the angular velocity of a frame uh, whose rotational orientation uh, or orientation has been described by Euler angles. And you know something about the rates of change of those Euler angles. How do you write an expression for the angular velocity? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's say uh, Euler angles, uh, let's say we are using x, y, z, Euler angles, um, alpha, beta, gamma in that sequence, okay? First a rotation about x, then a rotation about y, then a rotation about z with these three angles respectively, okay? So let's just uh, write that down. So let's say we have frame zero, two, one. Rotation by alpha about E x naught. Uh, angle beta about e y one and then you get two and angle gamma about e z two okay to get three and let's say we want to find to find angular velocity of frame three with respect to frame one, let's say, okay? That's what we want to find, or actually frame zero. Um, and this is a common problem, right? So let's say the uh, axis uh, system three or frame three is attached to a rigid body and you're representing its rotation um, via these uh, transformation uh, or sequence of transformations, namely Euler angles. And you want to find the angular velocity of uh, Three with respect to three with respect to zero in terms of these Euler angles alpha beta gamma or more specifically uh, in terms of in terms of alpha dot beta dot gamma dot right so angular velocity has to do with the rate of change of orientation. Uh, and and uh, we want to find um, this in terms of these and then potentially these uh, coordinate frames. Okay, so let's think about that. So first, let's sort of go from, um, I keep erasing this thing. Uh, let's uh, go from three to two, two to one, one to zero. It doesn't matter which order you go in. Um, so omega, well, let's go in the forward order. So one with respect to uh, zero, what is that quantity? Uh, well, uh, frame one rotates about frame zero, uh, has, has a rotation uh, of alpha about frame zero, about specifically about dx naught. So this is the axis of rotation, this is the angle. So angular velocity itself is just gonna be equal to alpha dot e x naught, okay? So that's the angular velocity of frame one with respect to frame zero. Similarly, the angular velocity of frame two with respect to frame one is gonna be beta dot times e y one. Beta dot e y one, and then frame three, with respect to frame two is gonna be gamma dot E Z two, okay? And what all this implies is omega three with respect to zero is gonna be omega three with respect to two plus omega two with respect to one plus omega one with respect to zero. 
and we can write that as um, right so just to be clear this is a separate uh, expression let me just um, so this implies omega 3 with respect to 0 is basically the sum of these three angular velocities. Okay, uh, and that's it. That's an expression. That's a valid expression for the angular velocity of frame three with respect to frame zero. It so happens that it's in these mixed coordinate frames. It's represented in these mixed coordinate frames, but that's okay. We can we know what the transformation is to go from one to zero or zero to one or two to one or two. So if you want, we can represent this vector uh, in either the zero frame or the three frame, whatever we want by appropriately converting uh, these um, basis vectors. So that's something you can do uh, when you're perhaps writing a piece of MATLAB code to uh, actually use this uh, quantity, but this is a correct valid expression uh, for the angular velocity in terms of the angular rates, the Euler angular rates, okay?